We're currently heading back to our villa. It is our very last day here in Bilitang and we're currently at Libong Island. If you haven't seen my where to stay video in Bilitang, guys, I will link it right above here somewhere. Let's go which side it always is on. But uh, I want to share with you my 12 things that you guys must know before coming to Bilitang because after spending four days here and being that it is my first time in Bilitang, I wanted to share my experience, what I what I learned on this trip, and so that you guys can get a head start uh, in front of me. So, the very first thing you guys need to know is that when you're flying into Bilitong, it is a very small airport. Uh, I did not expect that. It was only a single airplane landing on one runway and we just walked out on the tarmac and uh, picked up our bags. There was only one baggage claim and uh, it was just a small room basically. Now while we're on the topic of airports, another thing uh, I learned on this trip is that this used to be a really popular with Malaysian tourists because there's a, a very, how do I say this, similar Malay culture. Um, here in Bilitang as well. So uh, you would get a lot of tourists prior to COVID, but right now it's just, it's very empty, but the place is beautiful. We, we've had a, such an amazing time here and hopefully the tourism will recover here. And after seeing a few of my videos, hopefully that'll persuade you guys as well to come visit this uh, beautiful island or collection of islands actually, because uh, the island hopping adventure here in Bilitang was just stunning. One of my favorite activities here to do. The second thing you guys need to know is that when we were driving from the airport, there was no traffic. In fact, driving around the whole island in a rental car was by far the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, in Bali, there's just traffic, traffic, traffic. Here, it's just empty roads. It's amazing. And the road conditions, in fact, are pretty good. Uh, we drove down to the southern part of Bilitang and only about 20% of the roads were under construction because they're repaving the roads. But overall, the roads are just really smooth, really new, and a uh, great place to drive around the island as well. And the third thing, now the third thing you guys should know is that there is no grab. There's actually only Gojek. Kintanya, you can probably help me with this. I heard if you want to go to the island, uh, Kalaya, mm -hmm. no, there is no Gojek pick up, pick up service there. So no. you so. have to either save the driver's number mm -hmm. or you ask somebody to just pick you up from the hotel perhaps. Right. So yeah, if you guys want to get around the island, I highly recommend you guys use Gojek for once and then save the guy's number. Um, but thankfully, Fairfield Marriott that was hosting us at the time was uh, very helpful in helping us secure our rental car um, and that cost 250k a day. Another one is that there's actually no malls, no movie theaters, just small little outlet stores here in Bilitong. So don't expect to go, to go shopping like you would in Jakarta um, or even Bali for that matter. Um, it's just very local borongs. So there, there's no big development um, here on the island. And even um, if you're looking out to go get like popular fast foods. So another thing on the list is that uh, there's only KFC, yeah? KFC and um, an A&W. And A&W, yeah. yeah. So those are the two only like fast food chains here on the island. Mm -hmm. um, so don't expect to get be getting any McDonald's here on the island. Uh, go back to your uh, to your hotel. While we're on the topic of Warungs and uh, McDonald's as well, uh, don't expect to find any Indomart or Alpha Mart here in Bilitang. So because there's a uh, they haven't really introduced big brand stores or malls and out and these big huge companies, um, they're keeping it very local with the Warungs. So. There's gonna be no Alpha Mart, no Indomart. And so number six on the list, there is no Boule prices. I was very shocked and very surprised to know that um, Boule prices is something you always have to worry about when traveling around, no matter what country you're in. Like if you're going to Thailand, if you're going to Philippines, no matter what country, there's always gonna be foreigner prices. You, that's something you always have to worry about when traveling around the world. If you don't speak the local language, they're gonna charge you a foreigner price, obviously, but Billy Tong, that is not the case. Me, Rhett, and Claire were on our way to south southern part of Billy Tong, and we stopped at a Wurong and we book we bought some drinks basically. And I asked her, I asked the lady, I said, uh, itu? 
and she she said to me oh it was a uh, nam ribu and that's 6k in indonesian and i was actually shocked because if i went to the alpha mart or uh, indomart in bali that drink would have cost me like seven or eight k so she even gave me a cheaper price which i was really shocked about so that that kind of confirmed everything that there's no boule prices and number seven guys the people are the friendliest here in Bilitong and Kintani can attest to this the Indonesians here in Bilitong are some of the friendliest bunch that we have met here while traveling throughout Indonesia for the past several months I, I cannot say say more about that um, me Russ and Claire stopped on the way at a like a local bar uh, I'm sure you have seen this by now already in my earlier videos and uh, we basically got some ayam goreng and uh, some Thai tea and like the total bill came out to like I want to say over 100k IDR and the lady was just so friendly so so nice to us smiling taking pictures with us and she was like oh discount discount and she was trying to give it to us for 50k she was literally trying to cut the price in half by 50 percent and we're just like no no please don't worry about it and uh yeah that's just that just shows how friendly the people are here on the island everybody's smiling everybody's like just showing their generosity for for uh us coming to visit billy tongue so i must say big thumbs up to this island so number eight on the list guys there uh there there's literally no foreigners here we saw maybe one couple here the entire time here like four or five days in billy tongue and yeah only one foreigner couple here that we saw uh, besides us besides all of us here and uh, yeah so expect to but I think that's just because of COVID um, or even the fact that not many like vloggers or tourists come to show off this beautiful island because it's it's so gorgeous and uh, yeah more of you guys need to come here <laughs> absolutely now if you guys aren't renting a car you guys are probably going to end up renting a motorbike scooter and we actually had to ask uh, Fairfield Marriott for help on this matter but they just referred us literally to somebody's house literally across the street and so you guys will see that in Kentania's video I'll link it above we literally straight walked into somebody's house their front door and asked to use their bike and you know, usually like in Surabaya, for example, when we went to Surabaya, we needed five forms of ID to rent the bike. She was just like, eh, don't worry about it. You're only renting it for two hours. She's just like, just take the bike, bring it back. And uh, we rented it for 50K for two hours. If you wanted to rent for an entire day, it was gonna be 75K. Um, but you do need to fill up your own gas though. So the tank was empty and we filled it up for like, when you stop at a, a Warong um, to fill up those like one liter bottles that you see like those vodka bottles you see in Bali well in Bali it costs 10k for one of those bottles of gas uh, here on the on Bilitang Island it costs only 9k so a bit cheaper if you are paying for gas here but yeah really actually really easy and just shows just shows off how uh, friendly the people are they're just like yeah here take my bike bring it back <laughs> and uh, even someone that we were talking to said that you could just literally leave your key your key in the car and no, or in the bike and nobody's gonna steal it like there apparently there's like no crime here now one thing you guys will notice when driving around the island is the homes uh, the homes I have to say I was really shocked uh, the homes are only one story and the people actually take really good care of them. You see these beautiful gardens, beautiful flowers in front of the homes, and they're all like different little colors, like yellow, pink, all these pastel colors, really beautiful. And uh, we were told that people really don't put a lot of money into their homes, which is why most of them are one story houses. houses. And uh, they, they actually spend most of their money on like car, jewelry, but not really in their houses. The houses overall look really beautiful as you're driving. Or, yeah, they're very unique as, as you're driving down, down the roads on the island. And the very last two things that I need to mention to you guys when you're coming to Billy Tongue, <laughs> Billy Tongue, is that um, the, the islands. Oh my gosh, the islands. If you guys haven't seen the island hopping video, I will link it above for you guys. Uh, it looks something straight out of the Maldives. If I didn't tell you we were in Indonesia, that's where you would have thought we were been. Um, just the islands are gorgeous. And we were the only ones literally on the islands while we were island hopping. And maybe that is because of COVID or just the lack of tourism here. But wow, 
The islands are beautiful. When we finished the island hopping tour, we stopped off at Aburong on an island and the food was just so, so good. If you're coming here, you must try the seafood because just that's just part of the local industry here is fishing and the seafood is just so good. Calamari, no matter where I stopped off to eat calamari, calamari was just amazing. And uh, the very last thing is that if you're a foreigner watching this video, you're gonna be thinking, how, what is the language barrier like here in, in Bilitong? And from my experience, if you're staying at a place like Marriott, uh, Fairfield Marriott, uh, the, the staff are gonna be speaking English. For me, me and Catania were basically just exploring the island a few times. And so lucky enough for me, I had her to translate, but there were a few times where I was kind of shocked um, that some of the locals actually can communicate limit, limitly um, just with a, with a few basic English communication skills that will get you far enough to like order drinks, order food if you're at a cafe or a restaurant. If you're at a big hotel chain like the Marriott, then obviously they're going to speak English. Um, but don't expect them to speak English if you're visiting like a Wurung on, an, on the island there. Um, so you should learn just a little bit of uh, Indonesian as you're um, traveling the island just so that you can order like Akumau Nasi Goreng Special <laughs> or just like the numbers at least so you can you know how to pay or ask Barapa um, itu how much is this and all that. So it, it, it goes a long way and it gives them a smile to know that you're trying to speak Indonesian with them as well. So yeah, there's a bit of a language barrier, but uh, in, enough to where that you can communicate with them. And Google tra Translate is always gonna be your best friend. <laughs> so hope that gave you guys some insight as to what it's like here in Bilitong. Highly recommend you guys visit this place because three, four days that we've been staying here, we were just shocked that we have never heard of this place. We had never visited this place, at least for me, Catania has probably heard of it. And most of you Indonesians have probably heard of Bilitang as well. But yeah, you guys definitely need to check out this island. Uh, for those of you that are always going to Bali, come to Bilitang and have a nice little four or five day vacation here. So if you guys made it to the very end of this video, please give it a like, comment down below any more questions about Billy Tongue and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you guys made it to the very end of this video, please subscribe down below. It really helps the channel and I will see you guys next week. Peace.